is anytime we have a men to situation, I want y'all to share these videos on your social media. So everybody that's in the men to movement, your mission, every time we have a situation like this to where a bitch sexually assaults a nigga, we're going to share that shit and we're going to make it go viral so that now it's understood that the, the tables are equal. The tables are equal. Either we can do this shit or we can't do this shit. Period, point blank. It's simple. If you can go in a nigga pants and just, you know what I'm saying, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, uh, fuck it, he ain't push me off, so it must be on. But if he push me off, he go to jail for goddamn I don't know how long. How long would Gates up in there? Go fearless leader of AO Nation, and this is. But hold on, you know to get your RUC t shirt, you already know what the fuck is going on. Listen here, uh, we got a situation. Um, Fred O'Bain, actually, I kind of want to show this to you. Like, fuck all the goddamn plan. Let's go ahead and get to what the fuck it is. Let's go ahead and all I'm saying, just, just, just do the shit. Oh man, they're they gonna do the shit. Fuck that shit. We finna gonna do the shit. Alright, I know. You're not getting your notifications. Understood. You knew they were gonna do this shit at one point or another. All you gotta do is go down to where you subscribe at, down there. The bell right beside it. Click it till it says you will get all notifications. If it's already on, you will get all notifications. Then click that bitch off of that, and then on to that again. We're just going to nigger rig the shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how something fucked up in the house? Cut that bitch off, and then cut it back on. That'll fix it. Um, if you're an AO Nation, and you have your uniform, and you haven't seen your picture at the beginning of one of the shows, send your picture to any one of the fucking, you know what I'm saying, social media platforms that come on the show that's always on the screen and shit like that, um, so we can get you right. If you're new to the channel, go to this PayPal and you'll get your shirt, you already see your shirt for 20, you'll get your Big Facts Podcast snapback for 25. Make sure you include your size and color with your address and shit like that. Everyone who donates, listen, I want to give a shout out to everybody who's been donating religiously. Like, I fuck with everybody who comment and shit like that and show love. Like, and if you ain't got it right now, it's straight. But for those of you who are donating, man, like... Dog, like, be home. I fuck with you, man. Like, big bitch, I fuck with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit is too fucking real. If you're new to the channel and you don't know how to fucking donate, go to this fucking PayPal. Um, a dollar, two dollar, whatever the fuck it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Show love. AO Nation is the best fucking, you know what I'm saying? Movement that I know. Period. I fuck with y'all, man. Hold up. To all my rappers. If you want promotion on the show, prices start at $200. They range all the way up to, I think, $1,200, uh, depending on what kind of package you get. But do not hit me up until you at least have $200 so we can get some type of transaction in. I don't have a secretary, assistant. I do everything myself, and I don't have time to waste talking to you until I'm blue in the face, and then you say, all right, I'm going to holler back at you. I'm ready to work. You ready to work? Let's get to it. If your music is not up to par, I'm not going to fuck with it. Um... To all my business owners, uh, for the month of the rest of the month of October, I'm gonna run a special. Um, prices start at a hundred dollars for y'all, and they range up to a thousand dollars depending on the spokesman package. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to do it like that. So as you can see, that boy Fred O'Bain uh, just got sexually assaulted. He got sexually assaulted um, in front of everybody. Um, if you can remember back, Kevin Gates was uh, sent to jail for a long period of time. That's, that is not only got sent to jail, but look at all the fucking money he lost. About that fucking case for kicking that bitch in the head. And it, it was for this situation. 
I have another channel. We got a new channel. Um, the Big Homes Network. Go on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to that channel. Um, and that channel, I'm going to be uploading. The format is going to be different. Like, it's, it's a channel that's going to be based more in rap. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a different thing and shit like that. Um, and that's going to be the, the channel where you go to get, you know what I'm saying, like heavy, heavy shit. Um, these bitches, please, please do not think that these hood rat hoes are not up to date with what's going on in the world. These hoes are not blind. These hoes know what Kanye West just did, the White House. They know uh, what the fuck just happened to Bill Cosby. You think that a hood rat just, uh, she, uh, just, she trying to wonder, like, what, what color weave she gonna get next? What, what like, what, what kind of fish she gonna put in her fucking fingernail? What, she gonna get acrylics or a fucking uh, French tip? Uh, the whole wondering if she gonna go to the, the Asians or the, the Cambodians to get her fucking, you know what I'm saying? Ragged ass feet did. You think the whole wondering, goddamn, uh, whether she gonna pop a ball or a tab, whether she gonna smoke gas or Reggie, whether she gonna uh, try to get Damien or Earl to pay her fucking phone bill. You know what I'm saying? You think that's the only thing this whole thinking about. You know what I'm saying? You think the whole uh, trying to goddamn, she gonna take Uber or Lyft to go to the goddamn clinic to try to get that goddamn syphilis out of her ass and shit like that. That whole so retarded, she don't know the syphilis ain't got no fucking cure. You know what I'm saying? You think that's all the whole thinking about. But that's not what these hoes is think. Like, these hoes is on political shit and everything because they know it has everything to do with them. The reason why a hood rat bitch would key in to what's going on within politics, like, um... What Trump is doing and everything like that because they want to. It was a big. Don't forget, like it was a big scare uh, during the beginning of his administration because of the. Um, they thought that he was gonna be the one to cut off all fucking government assistance and shit like that. Um, that was a big fucking scare. You know, they got October third or January first or whatever the fuck the date was. It's old with your food stamp card ain't gonna work no more. Ain't no more fucking shit. The government is cutting. You know what I'm saying? All the assistance off. And shit like that. So motherfuckers, well, that, that's what they own. They not own that motherfucker to see if they know what I'm saying. Like what, what gun laws and you know what I'm saying. What the fucking GOP is going to do with, you know what I'm saying. Um, uh, sentencing guidelines and no shit like that. They own that shit for what they own that shit for. You know what I'm saying. So they'll follow that line as long as they have to. To see how it's going to affect them. Um, if. Trump passes a law or something gets passed um, that has to do with transportation, they'll key into that because that has to do with daycare or some shit like that. Um, the school bus, because they want to make sure they're going to have time to do the nefarious shit that they want to do. They'll be on top of their shit. Just the whole thing, like, this is my shit. My shit is, I will not laugh. I can't laugh at a motherfucker with uh, um, cerebral palsy. What, how you say it? Shit? Cerebral, cerebral palsy, you know what I'm saying, that type of shit, like a, a motherfucker in a wheelchair, or you know what I'm saying, fucked up, a motherfucker that was born with AIDS, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, this, uh, mentally disabled, I, I can't fucking, you know what I'm saying, criticize them, I'm criticizing these motherfuckers because these bitches, you understand, and niggas, on both ends, I can't, criticize a retarded ass, uh, I can't, I can't say shit about that nigga, that nigga can't help it. But the nigga who can, he knows how to open the app. He knows how to turn on the camera. Like, I was just in the car trying to goddamn get the fucking Instagram camera to work. You know what I'm saying? For whatever fucking reason, that shit was fucked up. But you have to know how to download. You have to know how to get the Wi-Fi code. Niggas know how to do all that shit, but then get on the internet and do the most retarded shit. You understand? This is why I can be so fucking hard on motherfuckers. This is why I don't have to give no goddamn mercy. Because you're not retarded. You're doing everything. You're doing everything that only a full, able, fully capable person can do. But you're just using your capabilities to do retarded shit. 
You know what I'm saying? A retarded person would love to have your capabilities because, you know what I'm saying, you're not doing shit with it. It's the whole, you know, that that's not... I'm telling you that fuck a retarded bitch because this hoe is not retarded. This hoe, she knows how to manage her time. This is why you don't have to give a hoe no motherfucking leeway when she makes an excuse why she can't text you back. The same for you, uh, ladies. I'm going to say bitches. Same for you, bitches. You know what I'm saying? You, like... You don't have to listen when a motherfucker try to make excuses why they can't text you back. Because you know you're fully capable to do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? If if it was someone that you wanted to talk to, you were running the bathroom. I don't get me started. Don't get me started on that on, down that road. Don't you don't get me started down that road. You do not have to give you don't have to second guess yourself. Have your standards and leave them there. A motherfucker that will give an excuse is an excuse giving motherfucker. Period. A motherfucker that gives an excuse is an excuse giving motherfucker. Fuck them. If they give an excuse, they're an excuse giving motherfucker and they're gonna always give excuses. I'm not able to give excuses. At any fucking point in time. I'm not able to do it. I, I'm not able for anyone. To, oh man. Oh man. You know what man. God damn man. You know. I, I Man it be. Oh man. God damn. Oh man. That's how you know where you are in life. That's how you know you are in life. You know what I'm saying. Like you're either that person. Who. People are so dependent upon you. That you can't give excuses, or you that motherfucker that's giving excuses to people. But you can't be both. If they're an excuse, like no, they're not. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. If they'll give one excuse, they'll give a million. Nip it in the bud. Um, and and it goes back to everything that I talk about. The three S's. If you're new to the channel. Sobriety, solidarity, and celibacy. Ha ha ha, it's a joke. Celibacy doesn't start with an S. That's the whole fucking point. Those things, and uh, Katrina Gibbs from the conversation with me go to that fucking channel. Um, she added on. Sacra. She added on. She added on. Um, sacrifice. Self-discipline. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it really is. That, that, it, it's really just, you know, sacrificing and shit like that. But. Once you. Like, dog. The, that's the key to success. Period. Point blank. There's no way around it. If you want to succeed. If you're tired of being where you're at right now, man. In your life. That's what you're going to have to do. It's hard, but it's fair. If you if you ain't worried about your situation. You don't mind that. That. Ugly ass bitch that's wrong. You're like, you know, man, come on, man. You know that hoe you with ugly as fuck, man. You know that hoe ain't hitting on shit, man. You know that hoe pussy stank, man. You know that hoe ain't got... You You can you can mix this shit and mash this shit up how the fuck you want to mash it up, my nigga. On some, uh, 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 man, yeah, I love my hoe. Man, you doing that shit for her, man. Because you struggling right now. My nigga, if you had everything together, if you had everything together and you was 100% Independent, getting your own money for real, surviving like you supposed to be out there, motherfucker. Dog, you would not have to settle for no bitch that looked like that, my nigga. I'm just being real honest with you. You could, you would, you would be around a bitch who cares about herself enough to where she wouldn't let herself go like that. One of one of the main reasons why your whole product look like that is she won't sacrifice that food that she eats. That's that's what has her skin looking like that. The, the black spots on her face and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, her teeth. You know what I'm saying? She can't save up enough money to get braces because she's so insecure with herself that she has to put everything, she has to do all the cosmetic shit, but none of the shit that would actually help her. To be healthy, it doesn't cost a motherfucking dime. Shout out to my nigga Bones the Vegan. That's my nutritionist. Because I'm, you know, at getting my shit together. And it don't cost a motherfucking dime as far as exercising. Not eating as much. You know what I'm saying? 
but she won't do that. And you can't tell her to get right because you don't got no nuts because you're not in a position to raise your voice or have any type of authoritative essence about yourself. She run that shit. She run that shit. You, you walking around this bitch half-assed, not where you want to be because you just cannot stop that shit you got going on, my nigga. That weed, that coke, that food, that fucking job, all these things. Like, you can't, first, let's just deal with the first one. You cannot, st you can't be sober because you've tricked yourself and you've allowed everyone around you. This is why solidarity is so important. Solidarity is, is solitude, being by yourself. You understand? The people around you have misguided you and, and brainwashed you to thinking that what you got going ain't as bad as what they got going. That's a false sense of security right there. You're looking down on someone. But in the grand scheme of things, because you're looking down on someone, you can't look up to where you're trying to go. You can't go up looking down, my nigga. So if you think that the meth head, the crack head, the coke head, the peel head is worse than you because all you do is smoke weed. But y'all are all in the same fucking vicinity. My nigga, if you was doing what the fuck you supposed to do, you wouldn't even see them motherfuckers every day. You wouldn't be in that place. Y'all in the same apartment complex. How's that? How is that? Y'all y'all can drink, be outside on the back of y'all truck and shit like that and smoke y'all weed, uh, even if it's alcohol. Even if, no, y'all ain't out of it. You not out of it. You drinking beer looking at the motherfucker that smoke weed like them motherfuckers ain't got their shit together. You got a job. You know what I'm saying? You down there at the ship, you all well the fuck. Claim you saving money to do something, but you straight right there where you at. Because you know what your pocket's looking like. You know that today is going to be the same as tomorrow as it, as it was yesterday. You're not going a fucking place. Not a fucking place. Because as soon as you get enough money to do anything, here goes something fucked up. Here go rent. The car done fucked up. Somebody needs something. And the only reason you going out there to give them money is because you want to feel like you above them. Going out here and help this nigga out, man. Said it got down. No, oh, man. Got to help these niggas out, man. So that now you, when, when, when a motherfucker, because it's rare that a motherfucker talk to you like this. When a motherfucker do come at you and ask you, why the fuck you ain't came up yet? And coming up, meaning why ain't you got to the next level yet? You can say, man, trying to help everybody, man. Got a good heart, man. Got a good heart. That's your excuse. Understand, listen to me now. Some people will purposely put themselves in a situation just so they have an excuse. This We're back to excuses now. Now you have an excuse to be in that same place that you've been in. Because now, uh, yeah, you know, I had to do this, I had to do that, whatever. Because you don't want to go to that next level. Because you know, every time you go to another level, you got to start that on the bottom. You got to start on the bottom. So because you've mastered this level of life, you've decided to stay there. Because as long as you're right here in the middle, you don't have to go to the next level and the next level and the next level. Where these people will look down on you. You'll be a peasant to them. Y'all ain't listening. Ain't nobody listening, man. Ain't nobody fucking listening. I might well turn the goddamn camera off, man. Lord, anybody. So, Fredo was at the show, and this is this is what we do as as the Men Too movement. What we gonna do, man? We not only gonna highlight these situations, we're gonna make these situations go viral. So, what what I want y'all to do is. Anytime we have a men to situation, I want y'all to share these videos on your social media. So everybody that's in the men to movement, your mission, every time we have a situation like this to where a bitch 
sexually assaults a nigga, we're going to share that shit and we're going to make it go viral so that now it's understood that the, the tables are equal. The tables are equal. Either we can do this shit or we can't do this shit. Pure point blank. It's simple. If you can go in a nigga pants and just, you know what I'm saying, fuck it, you know what I'm saying, I, fuck it, he ain't pushed me off, so it must be on. But if he pushed me off, he go to jail for goddamn I don't know how long. How long would Gates up in there? And this is what I'm saying. You can say that their first, I right, so when I talk about the, um, the Holly Berry shit, um, the first response is, oh, I wish she did it to me, I wish she did it to me. And we lose, we lose sight. That there's a Bill Cosby's in jail. Brian Banks' whole career, and there's been millions more examples of niggas who have lost their freedom in their whole fucking life. Their reputation because of a bitch's superpower to be able to say whatever the fuck she wants. And it just be understood by the land that she's, it's the truth. This shit has to stop. Not only because it's wrong and unfair to men, because a bitch can do it to a nigga, but also because there are really rapists out here. It, as long as you unfairly, unfairly take away our freedom, anyone's freedom. There's going to be people like me who stand up and say, hold on, man. Hey, man, that's wrong, man. Hey, man, hold on. That's wrong, man. And if you don't listen to me, now I got to get loud and now I got to take it to the extreme to where now when shit happens, I'm going to be looking at it with a fine tooth comb. And this motherfucker might have really been fucking raped. You're turning people into a uh, you're, you're, you're forcing people to victim shame because that's the only way to get you to take a second look at these situations that shouldn't be in the first place. And these situations are the unfair system. You put a nigga in jail for getting a bitch. How do I tell a hoe? Genuine had a situation at a show where a, uh, a tranny came on stage because I guess, you know, when, when he, he do the song Ride That Pony, he allows bitches to come on stage and, you know, grind, whatever like that. And, I, and so he had kissed two bitches and then that, now that the she thing walk up, whatever like that. And he like, oh, no, I can't do it. And she can, he continues to try to get up on him. Do you know that motherfuckers were trying to sue Genuine for that shit? For discrimination? Hold the fuck up. Am I a sex slave? The fuck do you mean discrimination? This ain't no motherfucking, uh, you want a, a nigga pies? What the fuck? This is white only pies. What the fuck are you talking about? Bitch, I'm not selling nigga pies and white pies. I'm doing a show. I'm a human being. I'm not a sex machine. Or is that what I am? Is that what I am as an entertainer? If that's the case, then... Iggy Azalea, Iggy Azalea, Trina, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and any other raunchy bitch, I should be able to do whatever, Beyonce, I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want to do to this bitch. If this is the case, if this is the case, let me explain this to you if you don't understand. If, if Iggy Azalea, I don't even want to give a, 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 a Caucasian example. Let's keep it on this side. Um, if if Beyonce's doing a show, as she does, and I'm in the front row, would I be able to grab that cat and start, give me that cat, pulling her pants down? So she doesn't want it to happen, so she, she runs away, whatever like that. But I would then be arrested. I would then be arrested. NBA young boy walks through a crowd, a million holes, like it's trying to grab his dick and, and doing everything to him. If if I find Hillary Clinton to be attractive, 
when she walks by, can I grab that ass? Can I hug her and take a picture like this here? Can I hug her by the, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's, what's, what's molestation? What is molestation? What in the fuck is molestation? How? Girls find this person sexually attractive. They then start performing sex acts on him. Ah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, I'm straight, I'm straight. They continue to do it. I retaliate. I'm arrested. Am I insane? Is it, and this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm talking about. Don't tell me. Ah, that's, that's bullshit. Everybody wants some head or whatever the fuck you talking about. Ah, anybody want Holly Berry to fuck them? Listen, and, and see, those kind of people is like, you're a sheep. I can't really blame you, but I have to blame you. Because I came up the same way you did. And I didn't turn out like that. You know what I'm saying? You're choosing to be a sheep. At any point in time, you can choose to wake up. But you're choosing to be blind. It's too much information out here for you still to be like, Nah, man. For you still to be retarded like this, it's a choice. At this point, it's a choice. We have people right now at this moment. And fuck Bill Cosby. Take him out the equation. We have people that are incarcerated and have been incarcerated that have shit on their record. And you may not understand... You know, what shit on your record means because you've never been through it. But please, allow me to um, bring you up to speed on how fucked up that makes, how hard that makes everything else in life. Trying to get a job, trying to get a driver's license, trying to get a gun, anything for a small mistake that you may have made. A sexual offender? Your life is over. The only, the only option that you have is crime. Because your existence at this point is crime. You can't be close to a school. You got to check in. You got to find this. If you're too close to a school, you got to leave. This apartment don't want you. That apartment don't want you. You're too close to a school. Kids over playground. We don't want you at this job. And you're black. And you're a felon. And you're a man. And you have tattoos. What else can I do? And my issue with you people is how I was listening to uh, Andrew Schultz and uh, Tyreek Nasheed when they, when they debated about white supremacy and shit like that. And um, Andrew Schultz was giving stats. He gave stats about how this happens more than this happens. Talking about um, how Black black people and police officers and, and all that, that killing shit, whatever like that. I'm like, hey, my nigga, I don't give a fuck what them stats say. When you go outside, what does that say? What does that say when you go outside? When you go outside, do you see this or do you see this? Fuck them stats. I can give a fuck about what the numbers say. That uh, police officers, uh, by the numbers, police officers, uh, only one out of a million police officers are racist. Hey, my nigga, fuck all that. Fuck them numbers, my nigga. Fuck them numbers, my nigga. Right here, right now. Niggas. It's hard out here for niggas. Already. How can you not, I'm asking you, how can you not see... How can you not feel where I'm coming from as far as this needs to be spoken about and not played with? This isn't a joke, funny, funny. This isn't a joke, funny, funny. Because I'm telling you, when this shit happens to you or someone that you know, I'm not saying if, 
I'm saying win because by the numbers, my nigga. When it happens, you're going to want all the fucking attention in the world. When you in that cell, whatever like that, and you're facing all those things that I just told you. Black tattoos, you're going to have to register for the rest of your life. Not going to be able to get a job. Not going to be able to live here. Everybody in their mind going to think that you raped a child. Just because a bitch that you didn't, that you blocked. You blocked the bitch, so now she went down there and said, you raped her. And they send the fucking marshals to your fucking house. You gotta pay the lawyer fees. Only for for what? You know what I'm saying? Let, let's 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 be honest with it. You're not gonna have enough for the lawyer fees or your bond to get out and fight the case from the street. So just just the time. Let's say that you beat the case. You but you are gonna be in that whole three years in the county jail. Because you blocked the bitch. And you're just not realizing that damn AO was talking about this shit. I sure wish goddamn damn dog. It's a bullshit, man. This it's not it's not funny no more though. It's not a joke no more. Children. Children aren't expected to see patterns. Aren't expected to be able to foresee issues. But after you after 16 years old, you're supposed to pretty much sense danger. And see when something's oh this this, this ain't gonna end too well. I might need to. But at 32 years old, at 45 years old, for you to come and tell me about I wish Holly Berry would do that to me. She can do anything she wants to me all night long. For you to tell me, uh, Fred O'Bain gay for not letting this bitch suck his dick. Not only are you lame, because that shows that you've never had any bitches. Pimp C wouldn't even let hoes touch him. Who the fuck you think I am, bitch? I'm just anything. You can just touch me, ho. Like, you not up to my... You not even up to my... You a little bit. Like, ho, you ain't even... You know what I'm saying? Like, how the fuck... So I'm just, I just ain't nothing. My word don't mean shit. Did I tell you to do that, bitch? That, that should come first. Before anything, that should come first. And then after that, it's like, hold the fuck up, bitch. What kind of disrespect is this? You don't know what kind of situation I got going on. You can just do whatever? And fuck that bitch that I tell you to do this. So for one, you lame. But for two, it says it like, I can't say you're retarded because you're not. But that's like, you're that stupid. You're that stupid to not be able to see that a 32, 45, whatever fucking age man, you're at the highest risk right now to be <laughs> accosted, assaulted, and arrested for a sexual abuse crime that you did not commit. These are the ages. Teenager, you know what I'm saying, all that whole line, whatever like that. But after 21... Oh yeah, he's a fucking rapist. They're painting us with a... We're all guilty at this point. If one of us loses, we all lose. And if you can't see that, then you're choosing to be ignorant. Because at this point, that's is what it is. You're choosing that. So, at this time, I would like everyone... I'm demanding everyone in the Men Too movement to share this video and I'll continue to push. Go to all my social media and I will continue to push this until something happens. Big Facts Podcast, I am Ayo Conseco. Make sure you hit that PayPal. Love. Where the fuck is my penny?